We may have some of the best fall color that we've had in years across the Mid-South, Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma. I'm 5 News Chief Meteorologist Matt Standridge. We wanted to take a second, take a look at how the summer has shaped up to be like and, and how that's going to impact our fall colors and also take a closer look at this final uh, few weeks before we get to peak. End of September, end of October. What are we expecting? Fall leaves are very finicky and it's a it's a long range forecast. It basically encompasses anywhere from about July all the way through August, September and then of course October and things can get off track really quickly, but they can also get back on track for best colors and we'll talk about why we think we have some of the best color coming this year, especially compared to the past couple of years. When we're looking at this fall forecast, two big factors, temperature and precipitation. Temperatures, guys, it's, it's been a pretty warm summer. We've had some huge heat domes, and at times that's caused us a lot of problems. We've had some heat scorch. But recently, we've had some breaks, and that's some good news. But coming up, we also have some more warm air on the way. For the rest of September into October, we'll talk about how that's going to play out for our fall leaves. In the rainfall department, it's been very wonky this year, on and off with the faucet. If you remember back into the summer, we actually had some good rains coming out of spring. July was pretty wet in parts, and for some, and this is just kind of an overall forecast for Arkansas and Oklahoma and Missouri. But once we got to August, and even the end of July, once we got into August, things really started to dry up. We had wildfire threats coming back. We had burn bans going into place, especially once you hopped into September, because it was so dry. But we have changed things around big time. We've had some decent rains recently, and yeah, well, for a certain point, it looked like we were not going to have a great fall leaf foliage color uh, forecast again, but I think we're hopping back on track because of the recent rains. Let's take a look at some of the recent rains just in the past five days. If you're watching this maybe a few days later, this is for mid-September into late September. We had the jet stream sitting over us, and it caused multiple showers and big-time thunderstorms to form across parts of Missouri and Oklahoma. And then they slid into Arkansas, but mainly central and western Arkansas. Eastern Arkansas, we haven't picked up very much. So our leaves just around Jonesboro, Memphis, they may be a little bit tougher. But you look back west where we picked up some decent rains over especially northwest Arkansas into parts of the Ozarks and southwest Missouri. Great. Washita's were looking fantastic, especially you take uh, that Talamina Drive. Wonderful rain has picked up. And one thing that we've noticed is that you can have a really dry summer and you can start to get that leaf scorch. But especially in late September, early October, before we get to peak, if you can get at least one really, really good rain with multiple inches, it can really fix things up. Yeah, you still have a couple leaves that kind of died out, but you can get the other leaves back on track that were impacted so far yet. We also had some good rains on the eastern end of the Boston Mountains. Once you get north of uh, Conway, where the mountains start to eventually decrease in their, in their stature a little bit. Good rains. Let's take a closer look at some concrete numbers, though. This is specifically for Fayetteville, Arkansas and Fort Smith, Arkansas. Just for September, we have picked up over five inches, close to five and a half inches. Normally, we get three and a half inches. We're almost two inches above uh, what's normal in September. September's not quite done yet, but I tell you what, this number is a lot higher in parts of the mountains uh, towards the south of Fayetteville, but then also north of Fayetteville, right around Beaver Lake. If you like taking right around Hobbs State Park, you're, you're hopping on uh, Highway 12, you're seeing some of the fall leaves. We've had five to seven inches close to the lake on the north side of Beaver Lake, close to eight inches of rain. That's good for us. Fort Smith, in the River Valley, we've had rain, and we're good. We're right on track. In fact, we're just barely above average, 0.02. Basically, this has been a very normal September for us, so that is good. Uh, but you get outside of Fort Smith, especially south towards the Washita's. Maybe you're hopping on Fort Smith. You say, hey, I'm going to go see some fall leaves. I'm going to go south this year. Great fall leaf coverage because we picked up five to six inches of rain south towards uh, parts of even maybe south of Waldron, really towards Mena uh, and Tallahena. And then uh, once you get towards Hot Springs, we've had some decent rains too. So that's some good news from the rainfall department. So for rain, we're doing pretty good. That helps us have some of the best fall leaves that we've had in years because the past couple years have been pretty dry. We've had some drought conditions and they kind of lasted in the fall and then kind of mutes the leaves a little bit. So rainfall above average color this year. But let's now talk about temperature because temperature really impacts the speed. Now, if you get super hot temperatures, you can get the leaf scorched, but with slightly warmer than normal temperatures, you just kind of slow down the process. So what we're kind of thinking right now is that we are on track to have some of the best color we've had in years, but it's just going to be a little bit slower, close to average, but maybe maybe a week slower. 
and especially that takes place in southern Arkansas. Northern Arkansas, slightly warmer conditions in October. I think we're going to be okay, but uh, northeast is going to be much warmer than normal. That may slow their leaf progress down. And so how is that going to impact us? Well, so far, we've seen stray leaf color across Arkansas and Oklahoma. It depends on the species, too. Some species just turn faster than others. And so you do see some of those pops of colors in the forest, but the vast majorities of trees are, are still green and maybe slowly starting to change. But you go north, we're at patchy conditions across much of uh, Michigan, especially southern Michigan and Minneapolis. You had western parts of the Rockies, uh, southern Rockies, more towards uh, patchy conditions. But the far north, we're already at near peak, and we've already just now are hitting peak in parts of the extreme north, you know, within 20, 30 miles of the, the border with Canada. So these conditions will continue to, to move south, but we are expecting maybe a, just a tiny bit slower of that transitional process as it comes into Arkansas. So let's get ready for it. When do we think the fall leaves are going to change this year? Well, let's go ahead and, and pull up the map. So the map generally stays the same year after year, but it does fluctuate just a little bit. So here's what it looks like. This is just generally when we expect folly colors, but we've added in the impacts of rainfall and temperature. So if we zoom in just a little bit closer to the natural state, here's what we're going to get this year. Boston Mountains, especially in the highest peaks, and away from Northwest Arkansas. So we're really deep in the Carroll County and Madison County, Newton County. It's gonna be mid to kind of mid late October. And then right at Halloween, extreme late October for Benton County, most of Washington County, Northwest Arkansas metros, the last couple of days of October, maybe even a few days into November, but then it definitely will be November once you get south of the mountains or even west of the state line. Because we have this kind of wonky map just mainly due to elevation. And so you've got to go uh, to the north or east, deeper into the Ozarks to get some fall leaf color a little bit faster. But once you get away from these Boston Mountains, we're talking about uh, early November. And that will still be the case for the Washita's. And we think for the Washita's, even though we've had great rainfall, just the warm air is having a harder time for them to change for, as a whole forest. Now, you will see some cheese, trees that, that change a little bit early. They already have done that. But it's going to be early November uh, for parts of Fort Smith. You head towards Cavanaugh Hill, Sugarloaf, Mount Magazine. And then mid-November, this darker color, once you get into the southern fringes of the Washita's, there towards Texarkana, and then, of course, into Texas and Louisiana, we're waiting almost to Thanksgiving, maybe a week or two before Thanksgiving, before we finally get to see the, the peak fall color. And then what we notice a lot of times here is that our peaks do not last as long as the peaks up to the north. Eventually, we start getting these massive cold fronts coming in at the start of winter, getting close to winter, and they'll knock the leaves off. So generally, our peak season is shorter. Keep that in mind. Uh, but here's when you can expect when fall leaf colors will peak where you live.